Okay. Now we're, now we're like, going to talk about Corona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the best show. It's all good. So. Because I know it's got glad water. It's been bought. Yeah. Urban Voices Radio people, we are now back. Giving you the second, the second section of our, of our program today. We have Mr. Frank Stoner from Health Daddy Wow. Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm doing I need to great. introduce, introduce great. yourself. I'm going to let you do your own introduction. Oh. You've been getting to me all month. <laughs> I'm Sandra Phillips. This um, is my, my friend. Yeah. Look, and I feel like Listen. we've just met for the first time, but we've been communicating on social media for a while. And uh, Sandra, Sandra's big on the CBD products. Yes. Red, you, you are in my network because my mission is to promote a black economy. There we go. Yes, and there black go. health right. and wealth for our, for our community. And so... So I watch your posts and your political, you know, posts, and we we are on target. This is why I'm so glad you invited me because that's what I do, and this is critical time because I got to the CBD because of disaster preparedness. I started doing disaster preparedness after, uh, well, not right after Katrina because I'm from New Orleans and I went my family. I I so know you're what really that's from New like. Orleans. I'm, I'm now, a, now, let me tell you this. Orleans. We don't have much time. We gotta get this in. My absolute favorite town in this country. I've been, I made a, I made a personal goal to visit every major city and some smaller cities in almost every state. New Orleans has had me there. I've been to New Orleans at least fifteen times. I absolutely love New. Orleans. I feel like I'm from New Orleans. You do, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, 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 he's all over the country, man. But no, I like. Look, let me tell you when I when I go to New Orleans. And when I was going to New Orleans, it had the reputation. It was during the time when it was the uh, the murder capital. It was it was it was trying times there. Yeah, yeah. But the people in New Orleans used to. When I come down, the black folk in New Orleans would embrace me, yeah. and they New Orleans turned me out on Jambalaya. Uh, New Orleans <laughs> turned me out on a lot of things. But I would go down every year for uh, for Essence Festival, and then I would come back and buy you classic. Right. And I, I met some friends there. We would we would just connect, and they're like, "Man, you going to the tourist area? You know, we're gonna bring you out to the." To the wards, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I, I like I like New Orleans. New Orleans has a rich history, a very rich, very rich history. Rich history, and what they went through is related to what we are going through now. And so, in 2016, the Lord spoke to me actually and said, "It's time to build the ark," and that was in response to black men being shot down, especially their brother in Baton Rouge, because I'm connected. Right. When they shot that brother in Baton Rouge, that touched me. And, and, and what was that? Uh, what was he that? was selling uh, uh, CDs. The CDs. What was his name? Uh, Alton uh, Coleman. Out, no, Alton Stalin. Out, 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 out. What is it? It was Stalin. Yeah. When the last name Stalin? Uh, Sterling. Sterling. I can't remember, I can't remember yeah. his name, but after that happened. Because there were so many. There were so was, many. Yeah. After, and my son is a police officer here in Louisville. Okay. And he called me the day before the Dallas shooting to say that. It wasn't looking good because it was an uh, influx of Klansmen being hired by the police. And for those who don't know, there was there was an African American that uh, gunned down some police. In, was it Dallas? No, that was Houston. No, Houston? it was Dallas. It was, it was a black. Dallas. It was a black man that right, gunned, gunned down, down the police in Dallas. Yeah, so they don't that, talk about that a lot anymore. No, they don't. Yeah. But that led me. But they ended up killing him with a robot. Right. First time in history that ever happened. They sent a robot in and, and, and detonated and, a bomb and blew him up. And blew him up. Uh, yeah. Blew him up. Yeah. But my, my question to, to the Lord was, like, why is this happening? And when I found out about the influx of Klansmen in police departments, it made sense. We talked about that a bit, right? So yeah, it made sense. Yeah. So once that hit, I just began to study and research disaster. And that's how I got to the CBD. Okay. Because if there is a shutdown, and we're going to have a shutdown, and we can't get food, we can't get medicine, CBD is a game changer for health. Right. Now let me stop you right there, because before you speak and Mr. Frank speak, I wanna I wanna say this. Let me turn the camera around. I wanna say this. How many people love you? I wanna say this. I wanna say this. Those I've been watching, I've been watching very carefully this uh coronavirus epidemic. I've been watching it very, very closely. And initially, uh I felt like I still feel in certain ways because I know the media. I'm part of the media. I know the media. The media was, was was hyping this thing to be more than what it was. But as I researched Corona, I kind of understood a little bit. So 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 let me give you a little background on, on on Corona. So we had a flu virus. We had a flu virus in America. The flu 
the flu is contracted by 3 million Americans every year, about 3 million every year. About 30, between 20 and 40,000 people die each year from the flu. It's it's one tenth of 1% of the people that actually die from the flu that actually contract it, right? But the reason that it's only 3 million is because now we have a vaccine. So when you walk into a building full of people, probably half of the people, maybe more, have had a flu shot. So you're not spreading the virus. The coronavirus is similar to a flu virus, but there's no vaccine. It's mutated, so there's no vaccine for it. So the mass, the mass, what they call social distancing, is that you, if, if say I have coronavirus, and I go to a UK or I go to a, a Kentucky Derby, I go to a big arena where there's a lot of people. Nobody's vaccinated, so the possibility of spreading this particular flu is uh, is, is high, mm-hmm. and you have a lot of people that can be that can be contaminated by it, right? Right, right, right? But it won't affect. People like myself that are young, that are healthy, you won't die from this. Right. It's just like a simple flu, you won't die from this. Right. But elderly and people that have immune defi- immune system deficiencies are at high risk. Uh-huh. So the crazy thing about it is, as of now, I expect these numbers to drop. As of now, the coronavirus, in terms of death, is 10 times that of flu. So say you have 1,000 people with the flu virus. You have 1,000 people with the flu virus. Less than 1% of those people are dying. So what's or what's 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 one percent of of one thousand? A hundred. A hundred, right? So you have. Wait, a, no. Because ten percent of a thousand is one hundred. So one percent of a thousand. It's ten people, right? Yeah. Okay, so say you have a thousand people that have the flu virus. Ten people are ten people. The flu virus is one tenth of one percent. So you may have one person that dies out of a thousand people. Right, right. With the coronavirus, they're saying it's ten times as deadly. So you may have 10 to 20 people that die from the coronavirus. So what they're trying to do is prohibit 3 million people from catching the corona. Because if you do, if 3 million people have the flu virus now and 20, 30, 20 to 40,000 people die from it, if 3 million people have the coronavirus, it may be 300,000, right? right? Now, do we know that that many people will contract it? Who knows? It's so but it's unknown. Yeah, so, so, I, so I guess the, the, the thing now is prevention. prevention. It's prevention, okay. right? Which leads me... To agree with Mr. Frank here, immune system protection. All right, now I'm trying to back around you guys. Is, is, the, is the, key. the key. The key to surviving this. Oh, your, yeah. your immune system and yeah. my, you know, my tagline for disaster is get healthy and, and survive. Okay. That's how the CBD came in to existence with me uh, two years ago in 2018 from 2016 because I'm saying we need something to be healthy. To stay healthy without medication. Okay. Eat right. Medication. So real quick, because we don't have much time. Right. CBD people, people, people are becoming more uh, acceptive of the entire marijuana plant. Right. right. So, and I only want to say marijuana because that was a that was actually a racist term. So we say the cannabis plant, right? Right. So people are becoming more acceptive of marijuana of cannabis. Right. So CBD is not actually the part of the cannabis that will get you high. No. But it's a part that has medical benefits. Exactly. Right? Okay, so explain. So it's the hemp. The CBD plant can be grown with more hemp or less hemp. I mean, less less THC or more THC. THC, THC pre- meaning the yeah, high part of the plant. Right. So it depends on how it's grown, how it's harvested. And so uh, this is harvested with more hemp, less THC. Okay. So it's called, technically, it's hemp. And it's the legal limit in the country. Obama signed the 2014 Farm Bill. 0.3% is legal of THC. So what are the benefits of CBD? It's a game changer for as, as far as anti-inflammatory. You're talking pain. Anthro- uh, arthritis, fibromyalgia, anxiety, depression. Uh, and this is all natural? All natural. Glaucoma. Uh, there was a suit brought to the United States by a man named Frank, and and he sued the government to take. <laughs> no, he sued the government to be able to, to take high levels of marijuana to reduce his pressure on his eye. He never got. He never went blind from glaucoma. Mm-hmm. That's the power of this plant. Okay. So you are in the CBD industry. What did you do? I'm a dietitian, really by practice, and I just promote healthy eating. 
And when I did the CBD for myself, I had sciatic pain really bad in 20, 2018. It was shutting me down. I couldn't work, couldn't sleep. And so I didn't even believe because I thought I'm taking marijuana like everybody else. I don't want to get high. And then when I started using the oils, the tinctures, that's, I'm going to give you some samples before I leave. And I discovered in three weeks I, I was sleeping. Sleep is important. Your body resets itself while you sleep. So you're a CBD. You're not smoking the CBD. No. You're, you have oils and products. I have there. all CBD, 0.3% THC, okay. legal limit that you can use and be, and be you know, put your body back in balance. Now, we're talking about mental health. How does CBD help mental health? Anxiety, depression. A lot of people are struggling with anxiety and depression. And we have a CBD with no Especially THC. Man. So in case you are being drug screened, you just get the benefits from the cannabis, the cannabidiol in the plant. So do you have a brand that you're pushing now? This is it. It's called uh, Wakanda for Life, and we are black-owned. Wakanda. 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 W-A-K-A-N-N-A. We started a year ago in April for African-American women. We broke away from a company that was uh, owned by investors, white investors. We broke away because the, they didn't want to spend the money to get the third-party analysis that says that the oil is pure. It's no pesticides, no mold, no mildew. So these are gummy bears. Those are gummy. Can I eat these? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna a, give you a sample. I'm on yeah, <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> you see you see you see what it says on the label, right? Do, do yeah, one. Oh, it says sleep, sex, and, and inflammation. inflammation. So what does that mean? I get so the go to sleep, and then I'm not playing. And don't. Oh you, Lord! And don't. Do Man, I'm coming on first. through you. Don't do a whole gummy so, so, Just do so, a half a gummy. So it's right. like so it's like edibles or something like it's that. Edible. Okay. It's edible. Edibles is the home. biggest market. Okay. Okay. So this is like a Viagra. Well, I, yeah. I don't know about that one. I don't have that issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so real quick, Mr. Frank, I was watching your live interview or your live video you did on Facebook the other day. And and Frank, for those who don't know, Frank is that I'm aware of. He's the only black owned uh what do you call it? Healthy food products or health healthy? store. I'll health store. Health store. Health store. So he has yeah. he has health supplements. He has health products. He's here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, he has anything from your uh, what's the what's the black stuff I like a lot? The uh, black seed oil. The black seed black oil. oil. Yeah. He has. Hey, they say black seed oil kills everything except death. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but he has the black seed that. oil. He has. Uh, Man, I'm off today. What are the black products that people like to, that, that well, you carry? Let like, me explain it. Then, you well, know, no, I'm, I'm literally explaining. But <laughs> yeah. there's a there's a black owned brand of supplements that are out here, and you carry that product. It's um, like Health Daddy Wow. That's what, that's the only product I carry right mm -hmm. now. I think. I mean, you, I mean, there's I, another I do national carry product. That. Uh, the other. Do I carry other? Is it D herbs? Oh, oh yeah, D herb, man. I'm sorry. Look, see, D herbs. Yeah. D herbs. They're black on product, right? I can't forget. Them. They're black on, right? Yeah, they're black on. I thought, yeah. I thought so. Okay. Yeah, so. D herbs. Uh, D herbs is big. Uh, a lot of them taught me a lot of what I know now. Uh, so uh, we are located on, at 1806 Raff Avenue. Lavender Shavler. We got yes. We have everything from alkaline water to uh, your. Uh, vegan vegetarian products so we got to understand what's the, what's the difference in that um, a lot of people are trying to sell you pork type products uh <coughs> yeah, I don't strong that is strong she told you not to take Look, i don't even smoke i'm like i'm smoking blood <laughs> <laughs> she told you don't take i'm, I'm chewing on a gummy <laughs> <laughs> but this I know, I know we press on time, and I know, I know we. I'm to, I know we uh, no, Frank, I want to hear from uh, you. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, yeah. Good. What I was telling everybody, it's so much going on, y'all. I don't, I don't know where to start, but uh, you know, I was telling everybody on my live to one thing we need to do is calm down. We got to calm down because fear mm -hmm. taxes the immune system. It means mm -hmm. it, it brings it down. And that's one thing we don't want. We want to boost the immune system in these times. Uh, now, I heard you say the question about does black people get grown? Yep. Um, the word on that is, as you can tell, uh, it's said that a lot of people in Africa don't have this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so from what I'm hearing from my people and my sources is the sun. Mm -hmm. The sun is the biggest fighter of anything. So let's just not talk about viruses. Let's just right. talk about anything. 
the sun is the biggest way to boost your defense system. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, uh, aka immune system. It's really a defense system, but we we've been told to call it a, a immune system. Immune system. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, and what we're what we're not getting is sun. So that's what number two thing we need to do. We need to get out in the sun. Everybody need to get yeah, out there. And, and so you're saying sun is a direct correlation with building your immune system. Yes. Okay. And fighting off any viruses. So could it be a the reason why a lot of people in Africa is not getting this? Or uh, uh, why it's not spreading rapid, you know, over there? Mm -hmm. uh, something that is not gonna tell you on, in mainstream media. Right. right. So I would suggest you do that. Whenever we get a little sunlight, you get out there and you get it. That's you sun. need to stay in the uh in the sunlight in order to charge up. We always talk about we have melanin and everything, you know, so charges. the sunlight charges us up. Does that make sense? It yeah, because you see folks act a fool when it's sunny outside. <laughs> okay, okay, so for, we'll people, be more lively. So, so for those out here that, because we know, right now we do know, and I don't know, I don't know if everyone knows this, but the high risk, 80 to 90% of people that may contract the coronavirus will be just fine. It will be just like a typical flu. Yes. And some people won't some even feel symptoms things. whatsoever. But the at-risk group is what they say over 60 years old or people with prior illnesses, maybe diabetes, maybe cancer, well, maybe HIV. Compromised immune systems. Compromised immune systems, right? So for people that are concerned now, what can they come and purchase from Health Daddy Wow that will help boost their immune system? We got a ton of things, but I'd say elderberries is one. Uh, drink so plenty of water. I meant to say that yeah. too. Get you yeah. about a half a gallon of water in you every single that's day. Um, that's what you can purchase for the health daddy well too, some alkaline water. Also, your chlorophyll type uh, supplements, your uh, your sea your sea vegetables, your sea moss. All right, sea moss. And this is a big craze now. What is the deal with sea moss? Chlorophyll. Uh, sea moss is helps you in your uh, with your with your chlorophyll. It helps you with your vitamin D levels. It helps you with your immune system. It boosts. It has ninety four minerals the body needs. It has fiber. So if you have to poop, which is a very important, I ask everybody that when they come in my shop, if you have to, how is that system? Every day they got to poop the way they buy toilet paper up. <laughs> <laughs> that's another. That's a boy. I got so much to say. I was like, that's I wasn't playing on pooping. If y'all in the house for sure. three weeks, I don't put on toilet paper. I was put on using a lot of paper towel. People, they get on toilet paper in people's houses or something. Yeah, that's mm. crazy. So remember, so remember them, the minerals the body needs. So that's what uh, sea moss. Sea moss is so important. Uh, sea moss also has iodine. Sea moss also uh, curbs the appetite. So it's a good weight loss problem. Really? People don't know. Yeah, because see, your body doesn't crave food. It craves nutrition. And that's exactly. what sea moss is giving you. So, so if you, my sea moss, I had to buy it and then boil it. Is that the particular? Well, you have different types. You uh -huh. have different types. Um, I, In my business, I, I didn't want people to have to work that hard. So that's why I have sea moss in the capsule. So you can just come in and pack, you know, just pop the capsules. And uh, that's the simplest way to go, in my opinion. Now, you can get that brand where you have to do all that. Cooking and... Yeah, if you want to do that, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. You have the time to do that. And, and that, you know, it's a lot of healers out there that have that going on. Um, but I, I, I just use the powder. I use the powder form, and you can you still do that. that. You, you can still like make that. gel with it. You so the powder form, you just mix it like a, like a normal drink in the morning? You mix it with something? A powder form, you put in smoothies, you can okay. mix it with some, you can use it, you can cook with it, you can use it to thicken soups because it thickens. You can make gel to, you know, like a, a, a mask to, uh, uh, you know, get rid of acne, all that kind of thing. You wash the hair with it. You do so many things with sea moss. Mm. It's incredible. Also, let's not forget about the other sea mosses, kelp, spirulina. Cause it, 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 see, just the reason why I say that is because, uh, Sea moss has gotten so popular yeah. that it's hard to get. Yeah. So then, then you have people. I say, well, I have kelp, I have bladder rack, I have uh, spirulina, and people are like, no, I'll come back when you have sea moss. Well, don't, don't, don't miss out. Don't, don't do that. You yeah. still I'm get good say, my immune system right now. <laughs> That's right. You want to boost your immune system. Ground yourself. 
We talking about boosting the immune system. Well, how do I ground myself here, Daddy? Go outside, take your shoes off, stand in the stand in the grass while you in the sun. We have been so far removed from nature that it's almost like we don't. You know, it it ain't almost like it is. We don't understand what nature is anymore. Uh, standing in the grass with your shoes off blocks out a lot of this radiation we're getting from these computers. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, let me say this, not to cut you off, let me say this. That's a good that's a good that's a good uh topic you just touched on. And we're so far removed from nature that we don't know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think people understand. When you just when you want to look at nature, just look at a female. A female from nature was born to produce a baby, yes. feed a baby, I think I know where you're going. nurture a baby. So everything you have to survive as a, even if there was not a, us, if we didn't, if we were, if we didn't consume meat like this country, like the Western world does, right? We didn't consume meat or many nations consume meat. Everything a child needs to survive is provided from the mother. Yeah. Everything that an adult needs to survive is provided from nature. You can survive eating natural products that grow from you know greenery that grows yes. from the earth, right? Yes. But we've been so far removed from that, we don't even understand that concept anymore. That's right. Right. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I think the world is telling us. I think we, we this is just it's telling us that we need to get back to that. We need to eat more right. green right. stuff. Right. We need to, to eat. Basics. And a lot of people say, well, how do I get vitamin D? You know, if I can't, uh, if the sun's not shining and stuff like that, eat the plants. The sun shines on the plants. Yeah, we don't it's, get enough of that. So you give me a vitamin right? D, huh? Don't the sun shine regardless? It just shines a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we we get that, but when we have, yeah. But what I'm, yeah, every time regardless. But what when I'm the getting cloud at is, blocking it out, it's right. there. Right. Right. That's, yeah. why, that's, why, that's what right. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's still yeah. shines yeah. regardless yeah. of the yeah in your area, especially here at a certain time of the year. You know, we don't get it as much. And if you need to keep that vitamin D going, we, uh. Uh, we need to eat the plants of the world. So we we we, had, we got a warning. We we getting a warning we're how we had to go back to uh, yeah, right. to and, nature. And we, 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 we getting to a earth. warning. This corona is not just about the virus. It's about an end time season that we're living in, and we need to understand how to survive in this season. Sea moss is an excellent emergency prepared food. I know people are going out buying stuff in the grocery store, ramen noodles, canned mm -hmm. stuff, but you better off with sea moss. Let me let me tell you what the media. I mean, the media, man. We just tell them hand sanitizer. Okay, that's cool. But do we know that hand sanitizer kills good and bad bacteria on your fingertips? Right. Yep. And you need both. Yep. So it's not a, it's not a balance. If you keep using this stuff over and over and over and over again, and you're not balanced, you're killing all the good bacteria. You're killing all the good bacteria. Good bacteria. Yeah. So it's right. it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, stopping your ability to fight off viruses and stuff like it. So it's, it's so why is the media pushing this stuff so much? What, what it see? I can get into so much of that. Yeah, but we're I need another show for that. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we don't man. Well, well, go ahead while you're there. Uh, let's get back. Nature has things like tea tree oil, lemongrass oil, lemon balm oil. You know, so the essential oils that Spice are compatible traders. with nature. It's not going to kill off everything that you can still use to fight off viruses right. and some bacteria. Kind of but why do they not mention that? Right. Because they don't use nature's product. They use that. You know, the man has his own system. And he's going to use that. And but what I'm getting at is, I, I, keep, I keep getting into you, man, because you keep touching on things that I'm saying, right? <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw the press conference yesterday with Donald Trump announcing, a, announcing a national emergency, right? And I watched it, and it felt like I heard Walmart. I heard Roche. I heard uh, who else? I heard LabCorp. He what 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 Trump was promoting was, excuse me, was bringing the private sector in to help provide materials and and tests to combat the coronavirus. Right. So I'm sitting here. I'm looking like this is a big corporate push, this push it's right? A push. Yeah, it's a push. And, they push I, look, you and immediately in my mind, I thought I said, well, they have Roche. They have LabCorp. They have all these companies that are announcing they're going to help people at a cost. Mm -hmm. At a cost. Because whether they're getting a government contract or whatever, it's at a cost, right? Oh, yeah. To taxpayers. Okay. So I'm like, they're, they're providing all these services at a cost. And I thought to myself, I said, 
I know one person that used to heal his own people for free. And that was Dr. Seth. Yes, <laughs> you know what right. I mean? And, yes. You know what I mean? And, and what happened to him? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I looked at it like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that the, the media is pushing towards certain things. You know, that's always right, right, right. Yeah. So they push you to a certain. Why are they so in flux with pushing you to a certain thing? Because it's, it's a like, business, right? So why would we run towards what they pushing us? And you know, what I'm saying, and I think with the corona, it, it gives us a chance to come together more. You we know, should. get your get your get your home life in in, in order <laughs> and things of that nature right. because right. that's what you're gonna be. Well, see, that's what about Frank up here because when people are running to that, people are running to what the media is pushing because they don't know the alternative. So if you don't know. You're not just going to sit around when you're scared and not take nothing, right? right? And so fear, push, fear, fear pushes you away from nature. Fear, fear pushes you away from sanity. You, mm -hmm. you, you, when I'm looking at my timeline, I'm going crazy because everything. I, I'm, is everybody posting about Corona? Are they, is, is that Facebook just putting this on my page like yeah, that? Both, no, I mean, everybody. Both, but you know, if there's something that comes up on Facebook that it's like a uh, hot to trendy, trendy topic. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. Then, then that's right. what they're gonna push. Man, but it's still a massive party. fear. It's a massive fear. Right? It's man, yeah. Right. So we have to calm down. Do. Calm down. If you with God, whoever your God is, or whatever you do, fearing God does not occupy the same space. Right. So right. if you are scared, what are you doing? Right. You're not. You, come on. You're not with right. God. You're not realizing what you're doing. A lot of bad things. I made a live video about that before. I even came here today because it was just like fear and rationale can't occupy the same space. Hey, you either got to be see, rational go or you're going to be fearful of That's what's right. going on. Right. Right. I've seen people that are fearful of Corona don't wear condoms. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, how does that make sense? I was like, how does that make sense? That's right. right. They're focusing right. you right. on that. Right. I mean, not not right. only that, you know, there's a lot of bad things happen when you start rushing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of things, you know, out of fear, you, you rush. Think. Right. And, and you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're bound to miss something. By right. rushing, you know what I'm right. saying? And like, just, let, let me change the subject real quick. I don't I ain't gonna change the subject, but real quick, we were talking about fear, and, 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 and you were just talking about how it was this one uh, uh, nightclub caught on fire. And instead of the people, they panicked so bad, everybody tried to get out at one time, and they jammed the door. And nobody got out, and everybody perished. Mm -hmm. If they had a, took their time and walked out that door, everybody would have got out, no problem. So that's what I'm trying to say to people. Don't do that. Relax. You're gonna be okay. It's mass hysteria in the, in the, in the media. Is that what they want you to That's do? That's what they want we got to do. do. The opposite of what they want us to do. Right. We got to go with nature. They push you away from nature. Right. They push you away. They push you the products that are away from nature. They never mention lemongrass, tea tree, lemon balm oregano oil, these kind of things that are with nature. These, everything you I just mentioned is what? Right. A plant. A plant. Get back to your plant life. Right. So what are we all here? Because even though I don't have the best health practices, Let's I've see. always believed the it cure to everything I mean, is in nature. It's, it's in nature. Dogs right now. That's what that drew me to CBD. We're going to survive. I want natural. Yeah. But we're getting some plants so look, and some gums. So yeah, sea moss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know Seamoss. So what is? So explain to me what is kelp. We gotta have you on the air, so you gotta you gotta keep this stuff up. What is kelp? Kelp. Kelp is another form of sea moss. It's just. It's yeah, that's what he said. Spirulina. Spirulina. They like cousins. Spirulina. Spirulina. They like cousins. Spirulina. They like Spirulina. That's how I get sick out there in high school. Chlorophyll. Look, look, look. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll of the world. Chlorophyll. Green stuff. That's true. That's true. That's true. And Not, alkaline waters. Talk about that's that right. again. Alkaline water. Keep the body, you know, acid. Keep the pH. Keep balance. the pH balance. Uh, well, have, have no of, so this is uh this is our uh this is our uh they don't care because I went over time. But we no, but, this? but this is our <laughs> What's uh, that lipstick? Yeah, this is our pre roll. You can actually Are we still on? smoke. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're still on. Uh, yeah, you can actually smoke it. It's it's but it's pre roll. Legal. It's a pre roll. Let me holler at that. So one. wait a minute. Pre roll <laughs> is like it's, a pre roll. It's it's a point zero pre roll CBD. Yeah. Okay. okay, so you smoke this. You smoke it. Okay. So this is it won't get you high, CBD. but it will give you that that calmness that you need to deal with your stress. Because Frank is talking about stress, kind of cool. yeah. fear brings stress. Stress destroys the immune system. So what is the is that website for this? Yeah, my website, my.wakana.com. It's spelled my.wakana. W A K A N A. Yeah, I'm going to leave you my card right. so you can find me. But that's my website. 
Uh, and this is pain cream, CBD. This so is this the is, gummies. This is pain cream. Right. Let me highlight them gummies right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, open up. Uh, you open so, so, Mr. Frank, you're at 18th and the Rock? 1806, Ralph. So, that's right there by the Now, McDonald's is middle of the lane. I'm the next street. You got next more for you. Okay. Next I got up. more. And my site is my.wakana.com. And let me say this real quick, too. Good. And I know a lot of people are not going to like me, but that meat. I want. I need y'all to do that meat in moderation. There's nothing green about eating meat. Chicken wing, fish is meat. So understand. Oh, yeah, do it right. in moderation. Oh, right. Get more green stuff. Balance yourself right. out. Everything That's what we moderation. need to do. We got to balance Everything ourselves out. Everything in moderation. Right. Yeah. So now, he ain't now for, telling y'all y'all Okay, now for eat. our female viewers that yeah, are watching. I ain't saying y'all need for our female, I just, I just learned about this, so I'm asking. So my female viewers that are watching. For female viewers, they say there's a thing called pH balance. I ain't know what I don't have one, so I don't know what pH balance mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So women need to have a certain pH balance, correct? Oh, yeah. everybody does. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody. Oh, does. men do too. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank y'all for tuning oh, okay. in to right. uh, Urban Voices Radio. Okay. So, Either so bread and take it to a whole different level. No, no, no I'm <laughs> saying so. Right. No, because people don't know this. So, so right. a p a uh, uh, an irregular pH balance for a woman can provide a smell, correct? See, is that, uh, you might know your woman. Does that know? Do you know that? Because I, I guess man's ain't never off. But <laughs> in general, I'm saying if it's off, there's so many variables to that. Right. There's so right. many variables. Uh, to that. That's it, it can, yeah, uh, her pH can be thrown off with uh, uh, these baths, these uh, like these bomb, bad baths. bombs and all that type of thing. Yeah, bath. Yeah, Sensei. if it's not the correct stuff. Okay. Chemicals uh, can, can chemicals, throw you, right. especially chemicals. these places in the malls. I ain't mention no names, but you know, places these, these places in the works, malls with, with with that kind of stuff. Meat can throw it off. You Nail, know, cheese. Chemicals. I get so many ladies that eat cheese that have all these. So you got yeast effects from cheese, right? Yeah, you can Nickels get it. Nickels producing foods. Yeah. Those that's, are now, look, this is something we talked foods. about on this show, right? That right. I wasn't aware until, I don't know if it was you or somebody else made me bad. aware of it, right? Mm -hmm. As humans, we are the only living mammals that drink milk from another source. Yeah. 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 No other mammal does that. No other mammal does that. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. True. And, and you cow can't... drinks cow milk. We drink we milk. We drink milk. We drink. And, and when you think about it, it makes sense, right? Because you have a cow that has a calf. That produces a cat that's going to be two or three thousand pounds. Yeah. So it's a it's supplying nutrients and, and, and nutrition for something that's going to be two thousand pounds. Why is a hundred pound human consuming something? That's right. right. That is, you know, what I mean, that is that right. is designed to right. feed a exactly. two thousand pound cat. Exactly. Oh, somebody back in the day figured out a way to make some big money out of right. this. You know, I'm going to go. Oh, we going to sell that. We going to make money. Does the body do? Yeah. Right. But yeah. we get the chlorophyll. Frank, the chlorophyll comes from the green, right? Yeah. The cow eats the green. So why are we drinking the milk from the cow? We can, we can get the chlorophyll the from the green. Yeah, we can get the chlorophyll from the green. Okay. No, and I'm not. I'm not sit here and, 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 and knock the meat people because yeah, they 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 get on me about that. But uh, uh just do it in moderation. Grass fed right. is better. Right. Uh, if, if and then that gets into man, there's so many things that these people. They made us do. You, you're looking at you're looking at Monsanto and the Roundup issue. Yeah. So what's in the grass? Right. Yeah. Right. And just like I tell people, the dandelion. The dandelion. All our lives, we've been taught the dandelion is a weed. The dandelion is one of the most alkaline substances on the planet. You want dandelions in your life. Right. Well, I'll pull you can fix door, said, if okay. it was. And a, they grow wild. That's right. And you see, you, you see how much dandelions grow. You can't get rid of them can't things. They keep coming them. back because nature knows. Nature mm -hmm. knows better than us. I'm going to keep giving this to y'all because y'all can stay alive. If, if, if everything disappeared, y'all can stay alive just on good dandelion. So should it's a dandelion be consumed? Yes, absolutely. Dandelion. Too. I have dandelion for capsules. You know, dandelion. What about people like me that have allergies? Well, allergies is a form of your body saying you, you're going to need a good clean. Because I'm like grass, fresh cut yeah. grass, or pollen, all that sets me off. Okay, let me ask you this. So, since we get into, see if this makes sense to you. Could that be a healing process? Could that be a healing crisis in nature? What you doing? You, uh, your nose is running. Yeah. Okay, yeah, when your nose it. run, it's not sickness. See, we've been taught that sickness. When the nose run, it's not sickness because the, 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 the sinuses is an elimination channel. So when it's eliminating, that's what the body wants to do. It's eliminating toxins, mucus, pus. Okay, so that's what it's doing. It's trying to get rid of that's that. So we send embrace that. 
That's the immune system. So some of them needs to come out. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely need to detox. You need to detox. And when people detox, I explain to them about detox symptoms. Detox symptoms, you can get a runny nose. Get a Why? headache. Why? Because you can get headaches. It's just like if you quit smoking. If you just quit eating meat, you're going to have detox symptoms. You're going to crave. That's detox symptoms. So we got to understand what, what's going on with the body. Hot flashes, ladies, is a detoxification. It's a detox symptom because some ladies don't want to sweat. So the body's gonna, not going to wait on you to sweat. It wants to heal itself. So what it does is it starts to sweat for you. You're while not going to sweat? Right, okay. you're sleeping. I'm going to sweat for you. Right. So uh, understand what the body's doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. You sell detox products? Huh? You sell detox products? Yeah, I sell detox products. Now, I know you sell them. I sell I got some from you, right? So you sell them in, in the bags where you mix up, right? Now, you know, yeah. a, a popular thing with people, now I know, I know you don't do this. But a popular thing is people selling these pre-made detox drinks. Do you carry any of those? No, no, I don't. No, no. The only thing I sell is uh, I'll make some teas uh, for people to drink, but I don't sell the pre-made detox uh, uh, drinks. Um, for one, I don't have the labor to do that. And, you know, I, I just. I, I can use the second job. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot I'm not people, saying it's not. It's some it's nah, some people sorry. make some good stuff too. Some people be making. They use these detox for for uh, weight loss. Yes. Is de- is is weight loss an effect of detox? Can be. Yes. Lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, see, if you if you eat things like chlorophyll and green stuff, it's going to bring out uh, a lot of mucus and pus and parasites and worms and these kind of things, and that's going to be a form of detox. And then it's going to help the body get back to their proper weight. So what's that come out of? In your bowel movement? Is that what it comes out of? Yeah, what, yeah it could come out of your bowel movement. Yes, it can. So CMOS, what's the rec? Because I've been on this lately. A lot of people talking about What's the recommended doses of CMOS? What are we supposed to do with them? Drops. Hmm. Drop, drop, Underneath the tongue. Okay. Right. If you, right. Let's just say so this. If, in my opinion, if you get too much sea moss, you're just going to have to run okay. or something like that. Okay. Without going through your gut. Gotcha. I, I recommend it's, in my product that you take three capsules a day. A day. A lot of times I take five. I had I went to five because one thing we talk about with all this stuff going on is this 5G stuff. So how much is the vape? Us moving to 5G. This 5G. These these this extra waves. A lot of things. A lot of people saying this affects the immune system. This throws the body off. So when I got my 5G phone, I don't know, I started to be off balance. I had like this, this uh, Villa Light Rope kind of thing going on, you know, and I called myself help that. In your skin? No, I was, I was off balance. I was feeling like a little dizzy. And I was like, what, what is going on with me? So I got into the 5G and started learning about that. And I said, you know what? I'm going to have to open my CMOS. I'm going to have to open my green stuff. And so when I, Oh, my green stuff, it seems like it kind of balanced me back out. Mm-hmm. So this so let, let me so say it real so quick. The folks. here is 90 capsules. And uh, right now, right now it's $15. It's $15 and you better get there and get that $15. It's going to go up because when things get popular, you know, the, the vendors still raising the prices and stuff. So, so right now, this is a 30 day supply. If you take three three capsules a day, this is a 30 day supply. Yeah. $15 is not a lot for 30 days. That, that's, that's 50 cents a day. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a heck of a deal. It's a heck of a deal. Uh, I was going to say something before that. You remember what it was? Uh, it was kind of important. I can't I can't remember that. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, but that, that, but that balanced me back out when I upped the green stuff you know, from that 5G you know, network like kind of stuff going on. That's 163 milligrams. Oh, oh, what I was going to say is, you know, I, I'm not a doctor. So we, I got to do that disclaimer. I'm not up here trying to do doctor stuff. I can't diagnose you with anything. I'm with nature. I'm with nature. So I recommend things to see, you know, if it helps you. Everybody's different. And, uh, you know, if you if you have to before you take anything from Health Daddy Well, you, you check, check with your doctor. Yes. Check yes. with your physician and make sure, you know, y'all want to do that. I need to say the same thing. CBD does not cure or diagnose anybody's yeah. disease. All right. uh, if you want to use CBD, I recommend you consult with your doctor. And that's the way, a proper way to 
uh, uh, approach any kind of natural supplement, nutraceutical, whatever you want to call it. And if they do anything like shutting down some and doing all that, uh, just calm down and, and, and think first. Think first. And don't be running in the streets. You know, let, let, let everything happen first and then think the rational way to handle things. And stop buying all the toilet paper. I don't understand it. Look. They, I think the, the rationale behind buying the toilet paper was if the government says, okay, 30 days, right? 30 we'll days, shut down, days, right? They, they, they don't want to be stuck. How much thing. do you plan to shit? <laughs> <laughs> Most of them comes paid anyway. I'm you just saying. That's, the show? That's a marketing tool oh, anyway. Oh. Why? Because why is it just toilet paper that's yeah. leaving the shelves? And why is, is the stores not replenishing it? This is a whole circus. They're replenishing it. They are? Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. Let me, let me ask you this. Crazy, though, well, how much what's crazy, though, shit? is they're taking the toilet paper and the hand sanitizer, but there's plenty of soap. Like, there's, there's plenty, plenty of food. Soap. Okay. Plenty okay. Of food. Okay. <laughs> remember, okay. Remember this. What about this? Remember you were saying that in that press conference, he's throwing out different, like a corporation he and stuff. a lot of them. Could they purposely be pushing be in, brands? Yes. And holding back the toilet paper, of and then you want to, and then you have these these people who, uh, uh, I gotta shake my hand. That's okay. <laughs> you, you, you first, you have these people. It's true though. Who buy stuff? Hold on, let me tell you this. When I watched that, you know what they told me? I saw, I saw the CEO of LabCorp. I saw the CEO of Walmart. I saw the CEO was of uh, was Target. Target was under as well. Yep. Because he had Walmart, Target, rotated drug company. I seen all these people, right? Mm -hmm. So the media will portray that Trump is hated pretty much in America, right? right. I saw all these corporate buddy buddy friend relationships That's that he's bringing on board to it, the they they stressed we can't fight this epidemic without the private sector. So they're okay. bringing on all these corporate buddies mm -hmm. to pass out government contracts to help cure, test, vaccinate, or whatever about exactly. about. Uh, corona. About so I'm sitting here, I'm like, and they don't hate him. The corporate guys love him. They they're love they're him, all in man. a circle getting yeah. money. That's and why don't I was... get it twisted. Like, they had to martial law before. During wartime, during other times. Yeah. It's been a while. It's, it's been, but there's even been different. They did it in Katrina. They did it in Katrina. It was variations of it. It was very But again, you got people that are saying, oh, we're going to shut down. So now they're panicking like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. But if you just think and rationalize, they have to find some way to contain this. Mm -hmm. Or, or like not. Say, it's going to be, or not. <laughs> or, or not. That can, be, that can be profitable as well. Can or I not. give you a can? Right. In Good. my honest right. opinion. But they're it, not going to do that. In, in my honest opinion, it's not It's not a virus. You, it ain't something you touch and you put in your mouth. You know, I think it's got a lot to do with just, man, am I? Am I gonna get in trouble for this? Sure is, it's it's five G thing, man. Right. It, it, it's just a five G thing. Man. So go with them. a little more. Five G. It's it's just we off the air. This is just our Facebook live. Um, okay. I listen to a lot of people. I listen to other people besides Western media brothers who can break down molecules and all that. See, I can't do that. But when you get into it, you can understand what they're saying because it's common sense. Common mm -hmm. sense comes about. Uh, he was breaking down the, the 5G in with the compromised immune system and with, you know, you're not getting any sun and all that is why these people in this certain place contacted this thing in the first place. They, they, uh, they turned up the 5G network thing. This is where it originated from. This is where we're going to try it at. They also, he, they said, like, one day you're going to be able to come out your house and say, Uber, and then Uber going to show up. In order to do that, you got to have some serious radiation going on, some serious, you know, rays. So this is affecting your body. This is getting in your body. If you can't, when I got off balance with the 5G thing, I had to clarify myself to get back in balance so I wouldn't feel dizzy anymore. So, uh, when people are way to the left or to the right, 
and you already off balance anyway, then you bring in all this electricity. Uh, you can you can really go to the next level with that. As far as it can affect your respiratory, it can affect your brain. It can throw you off balance. So we got to understand what we got to do is instead of well, I can't. I ain't gonna say instead of fight virus, you want to practice good hygiene. Don't get me wrong with that. Practice good hygiene. But we got to stop all this 5G and the the, the fastest network stuff the technology, coming here, man. Technology is having an effect on our health. It's, it's having an effect on our health, man. It's like it's frying us, man. Right. Like That's a microwave. You know that is saying? the intent. That is the intent where uh, Australia just refused the 5G because of the very things that you're talking about. So we got to get ourselves educated about this. So yeah. when they start bringing, because they're going to do it slow. They do things slow to throw you off, to make you think that everything is all right. And so you say, okay, well, then they got that over there. They're not going, I don't I don't have that, so I can relax. No. So I'll, I'll, we, we got to educate ourselves about all of this stuff. Uh, so in the process, give people your guys' information so we get about it. Give okay. Good. Well, my website is my dot m y dot wakana w a k a n n a dot com. Go there and then get me on Facebook. Hit me up on Facebook. My name is Sandra Phillips. Friend, request me. That's the easiest way for you to get in. I'll put you on my page. You can get all the information you need, and we could talk and we could network that way. Uh, hit me on Facebook at uh sandra phillips or go to my go to my facebook page it's time to build the ark and and you know like that page let me know that you heard me on this uh platform and i'm at 1806 ralph avenue and i didn't even mention my website healthdaddywild.net healthdaddywild.net uh get your green stuff uh go back to nature eat from the farmers markets um don't fear. Try not to fear. Use some rationale. And I think we'll, we'll be just fine. We'll be just fine, y'all. Um, you know, don't fight each other. All right? Right. Good. Frank, what are your hours over there? Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 11 to 7. Sundays, 12 to 5. You know what? I'm going to make it a point to come out there tomorrow. Between 12 and 5? Between 12 and 5. I'm going to come out tomorrow and do a lot of video because more people are uh, mm -hmm. panicking about uh, this is it a pandemic yet? Can we say pandemic? It's pandemic. Okay. Well, it's it's, it's a like pandemic. I'm sorry. That's what it's like. a Pan pandemic in the media. People Pan are not a pandemic. <laughs> if somebody's falling in the streets, right in the street in front, and in this, that's a pandemic. Because all people are recovering from this stuff. Except for Tim. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody with Corona. <laughs> <laughs> but she had a flu last week. week. But see, she see, had a flu last week. But see so how she on. bounced back so 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 beautifully. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? She bounced. She has bounced back, and a lot of people lot are of doing water. this. I was drinking a lot of water. And, and check out the media. Uh, uh, this young lady said her kids were coughing, they throwing up stuff like that. I think they got Corona. Well, what about when your kids last year was coughing and growing up? Yeah. Now, let me what say what did you call that? Look, I have asthma, right? Have it had it my entire life. Huh? So when the but when the when the evac well not evacuation they call it social distancing. So when social distancing started Thursday, Wednesday maybe, it was raining. So if anyone knows if you're asthmatic and it's raining and it's humid, yeah. man, you are coughing like because your 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 lungs. <laughs> Are retracted and you're not getting much air through your system. Yeah. So all day long, I'm coughing and I'm coughing. And mm. in my line of business, I'm in nursing homes all day. So I'm walking these nursing homes coughing and everybody's looking at me. <laughs> yeah. So everyone I went in, they had to take my temperature prior to coming in. I had to fill out these forms with your name, oh, your address, your phone number. But that's protocol for anyone coming in. But that was just a thing, right? But no fever, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. So but I'm telling people, because you're coughing, <laughs> you have oh, corona. Right. You can right. cough from allergies. You can cough from asthma. Yes, you can, you can. Cough from... You can cough from shit in the earth. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> shit in the earth. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. cough from You can cough from Lysol. Yeah. Spraying that stuff. Okay. You, okay. It does have... <laughs> as, you gotta make some people mad. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's stuff inside that Lysol. 
I mean, it may be killing a germ, but it's also if, killing if something else. You got too much. You got stuff going is on there. Corona is down, way down in there on that can. Man, it's it it some, some lemongrass. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I know it's what it's what it's what's pushed on us. That's what you know right. we say we should do and but, all right. that. But again, basically, what we're trying to tell y'all is to rationalize. Wash no your panic. hands. Mm -hmm. Look, Wash I'm your in, hands. Drink water. I'm in public restrooms daily. You'd be surprised at the dudes that come in, use the restroom, and walk straight. And don't wash out. their hands. Right? Yes, so wash your <laughs> hands. Wash your hands. With soap. And a lot of people, real quick, <laughs> real quick, a lot of people who are so-called getting this virus and everything don't are dehydrated people. So make sure you drink. Drink, drink water. Every 15 minutes to a half hour, drink you some water. So look, Cause you can wash your weed hands. smokers, if you're Thank a marijuana people. smoker look. and you're worried about corona, Quit smoking blunts with everybody. Right. People laugh at me. Not laugh. Right. 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 Water notification. Like I have because I wasn't a water drinker yes. and I wasn't getting enough, and you know it caused like my vitamin D to be low and See I'm hydrated. But I got that word again. But, but they'll pass. I've been in settings again. and parties. They'll pass blunts around the room. Yeah. I'm like, I don't smoke, but right. I'm like, right. That's a lot of lips. <laughs> oh, that, I don't, don't know do what y'all do. do hey, they be eating girls out they met in five oh, hours. They do. <laughs> and parties, they do. I'm just saying, do, yeah, do. <laughs> so I'm like. You just not long enough. I long enough a long time. Look, I'm I already knew what I'm saying. I'm if you're smoking, if you're drinking behind people, if you're uh, eating. We even, look, you'd be surprised. And I shouldn't even say this. But as a teenager, I worked in fast food restaurants. You'd be surprised at the nasty practices that happen oh at these gosh. restaurants. I know. Yeah. You'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, I've been food service all of my adult life. Yeah. Restaurants, hospitals, nursing homes, nursing homes, nursing homes. So I know. So you might get a slab of Corona with your big back. Right. Or in the nursing home. And don't make yeah. no one mad before they pitch you. Yeah. Come on, right. So, but <laughs> help daddy well. Look, I'm telling you, if you... This is, this is, and I, they can get mad. This is Mr. Black GNC. So if you've been out to those big stores at the mall, like GNC, health food products. You can spend money. This is all natural. He has all natural products. He has right. an entire right. store. He owns his own, this is his own products. They have his name on the label. So check him out. 18th and Ralph Avenue. 1806. 1806 Ralph Avenue. It's right in the Shively area. If you're familiar with Louisville, it's right off Dixie Highway. Um, Stop in That's if you right. want to get some some CBD. CBD.